So hey you guys, this is Glamazon Tay, and today I will be collaborating with Asteria Hair. You guys, I got me four bundles of Malaysian hair as well as a frontal, and I'll have all the details down below if you guys are interested. But right now I'm just showing you guys how I brushed the hair out and how pretty and bouncy it actually is. Now this is the style I'm gonna be trying to achieve today, and as you guys can tell, I did achieve it, so I was so freaking stoked and happy. So if you're interested in this look, just definitely stay tuned, because I'm gonna show you exactly step by step how to get this look so I'm first gonna go ahead and put my aluminum foil down and then put my bundles on top and I'm actually gonna be bleaching to uh, get this look so I'm gonna be using my prism lights bleach and 40 volume developer I have plenty of videos on how I got this perfect mix but if you're interested you know I'll link all that below and exactly what bleach I use now I'm just gonna go ahead and do like the ends and I'm gonna kind of work my way up so that it's more like a gradient effect. The thing about this look is you don't want it to be so freaking harsh. Like you don't want a harsh line of bleach cause then it's just gonna look like it went from black to straight to blonde. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like a lot of bleach down bottom so it's like really blonde down there. And then as I'm going up, I'm not gonna use so much. I'm gonna kind of make sure it's like, you know, fading. It's not so harsh cause then it's gonna look like really jacked up. So with this, you gotta take your time kind of with going up. And then you can fluctuate on how much bleach you actually want going up. Just know the higher you go up, the more bleach it's gonna get. You get what I'm saying? So you have to be, you know, kind of measuring what you want it done. Then I'm just actually gonna go ahead and wrap it up in aluminum and move on to the next one. Now I repeated this process for all the bundles that I actually used so I can get kind of the same look. Now with the frontal, this was a little bit more trickier, but it wasn't that bad. So literally you guys see, I just laid the frontal out, ended up did the bleaching method as well, kind of brought up a little bit more, and then I kind of flipped it while it was still on the same side. Just so I'm making sure I get both sides, cause as you guys see, it didn't make it through, the bleach didn't make it through on the other side. So always make sure you flip your bundles or flip the hair so that you're getting both sides. Now, of course, to make your wig look really natural, you guys are going to have to bleach your knots. Now, this is kind of a crucial step. Just when you do it, you just have to make sure the bleach is thick enough so that it's like a paste and you're literally just, you know, gliding it on. You're not pushing it into the frontal because when you do that, that's when it gets all the way through and then you're over bleaching your knots. Now you guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse that out and you see how it's turning out, it's turning out really well. And this is how I do my um, frontal. I don't really do it in a particular way, I just make sure all the bleach is off. Now, after everything was done and I let it air dry, I kinda seen that it wasn't enough bleach. I wanted my blonde ends to come up a little bit higher. So I did repeat the same process over again and as well on the frontal. Also, you guys, when I was washing out the bleach, I washed my hair with the Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo. This is like a toning shampoo, so it helped to tone down the brassiness and gave me more of an ashy look. So I got me a wig head, you guys, and today I'm gonna be using an extra large wig cap. I don't know why the freak my bald head itself would get me an extra large wig cap. I just thought it was something I wanted to try, but let me tell you something. Um, it kind of <laughs> made my wig too big, so that was my fault, but hey, Nonetheless, it was my issue. So I went and put my frontal on. You guys see I left a little hanging with the tabs. So the tabs is just basically so I can have some hair in front of my ears so it's more like a sideburn. Now with doing this, I pinned down my frontal to make sure everything stays in position and nothing is moving. And then next, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the needle in. I'm putting the needle in through all three layers of the cap. You guys know it's like cap, elastic band cap. And then I'm just gonna sew all the way up until I'm completely finished sewing. I try to keep it really neat and clean looking. So if anything was to ever happen, I actually could go ahead and just cut the front off pretty easy. But you know, you want some neat work anyway. You don't want it looking all, you know, messy. Now we're going around the back. I actually start above the elastic band. The elastic band, you have to think about it. It is going to hold the wig on your head. So if you sew on the elastic, it's gonna restrict the elastic so it's not even gonna be able to stretch. So I always make sure I sew above the elastic band and I'm doing the same exact method. I'm kind of pulling the string so it's like out my way and everything is neat, but that's just the way I do it. You don't have to do it that way. Just do whatever is suitable for you with sewing on but literally I'm just going over under over under 
Now I'm gonna work my way all the way to the top, you guys. I love the way this is looking. It looks so neat and clean and everything looks like it's, you know, pretty uniform. Now, when I was sewing the bundles on, some were still damp, but that was no issue. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish doing it and then put my wig in front of the fan or, you know, outside on my patio. Now, this is the same method. I just repeat the same exact method going up through the whole wig. And then when I get to this part, I get like a U shape. And I wouldn't continue this because then it would end up like it's a part in the middle of my wig. So now I'm gonna start laying my um, tracks actually horizontal versus going in that U shape. Now, since everything is done with the wig, it's now time to customize the frontal. You guys see, you can already tell where I bleached the knots. And basically, for me to pluck my frontal, I find it easier for me to wet it up. So literally, I'm just putting straight water on it. And then I'm going to go through my tweezers and pull and pluck some hair. This helps to customize it, make everything look a little bit more natural. Well, a lot more natural. But... This is the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I love the way it turned out. It gives me such a different look. I was so shocked, honestly. And like here it is when it's straight. Of course, um, I'm not really a fan of it really too straight, but I really love it looking curly. Like curly, it just gives me the girliest little look. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and check the links below. I will have everything about this hair and everything that I use to achieve this look down there. And also, you guys don't forget to come back Sunday because I'm going to be doing more hair reviews every single Sunday. So I'll see you guys. Mwah. See ya.